Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um today we're just going to be really um re-editing, remaking an older video. So um if you go on my channel pages, I made this video a long time ago and it's got the same title and everything, same thumbnail. But um it's really bad, but it, yet it's still sitting at around like 540 views, I think. I haven't checked in a while. I think it's at 500. Uh, it might be at 400. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> but anyway, it's really bad. And even I know it's really bad. So it's really, really bad. Don't check it out. If you want to, it'll be in the description, though. Um, so we're just going to be editing it again and trying to make it better. You know what I mean? I went back, looked at the analytics today, and guess what? 3,000 people saw, like, the video and my rec and their recommendations, dude. So that could have been 3,000 viewers. And that's crazy, dude. So I went back and I'm thinking, yo, that is huge untapped, like, viewers. I could, uh, That would be great for my channel, dude. So, also, I think it's better for you guys to actually learn more stuff about these ants. Honeypot ants, these wonderful ants. Beautiful, I would love to keep them. And... Without th further ado, let's just hop well straight into the video. I'll see you guys there. So I just want to start this video out and um, point out a common misconception. Uh, you can see the big ones on the left side of the screen. They are called replates, replates, however you want to say them. Uh, they store honey or nectar, actually, usually, in their gas stores. Gas stores. Um, <clears throat> so when times get tough, they can do truffle axis and donate basically honey to, or nectar to other ants that need it. Now the biggest ants in here are not actually the queen. The queen is on the right side. She is in between the big ant and the smaller ant. And as you can see, she's clearly not the biggest as a matter of fact. So more on truffle axis. Um, any ant species basically does this, and while most people may think that they are fighting, as a matter of fact, the common folk, like, people don't know that much about ants, just walking by, they'll look down, maybe, oh, these ants are fighting, they hate each other. No, actually, these ants are not biting each other, and, um, if you zoom in, you can actually see the transfer of honey. This is an amazing picture, by the way. You could very clearly see that the one ant is pulling honey from its second stomach called a social so, uh, social stomach and bringing it, up, bringing it up to donate to this other ant. Ants, as a matter of fact, have two stomachs. One personal, where they get their energy from and calories and all. And then one social, where they will store food and then share it later with other ants. So, the ant on the right is pulling food, or most likely honey, um, from its social stomach and transferring it into the left ant's personal stomach. Now, this helps to make sure that all the colony gets fed, because some ants don't go outside the nest, but they still get fed, including the queen. Um, this is a very neat process, and honey ants do this a lot when times get tough. And truffle excess comes incredibly in handy for these humongous um, ants. So what they'll do is they have the plates, the plates, the plates, the plates, the plates. I think it's the plates. Honest. Uh, uh. Anyway. Um, the plates, I'm going to call them. They're basically like honey storages. Now, obviously, this picture is not a good representation of what they actually are like. But uh, I just thought it was a little funny picture, and it explains it well. They're just honey storages, or nectar storages. They s like to store sweets. And um, so they usually will live in harsh climates. Uh, there's a speci species that lives in the desert, and a lot of times there's not a lot of food in the desert. So when there is food, 
these ants stock up on food. They eat as much as they can, and then they save it. They're like storage compartments, and they can save it for months at a time, and the food won't go bad. And whenever somebody needs, let's say, a drink out of the fridge, they go over to this ant, and they eat or they drink. Um, as a matter of fact, they also have a place that will keep water instead of honey. So whenever they need a drink, they can do truffle access and get water too. Um, this was a recently known fact. Not too long ago they knew this. Um, I haven't done too much research on this, but um, scientists, I heard read somewhere how there was also one that keeps the um, juices of like cockroaches and insects in them. So whenever ants need protein. I'm not sure if that is 100%, so do not take that as like a source. But I believe that that may be something. But anyway, these are one of the most interesting kinds of ants. And I don't think I'm even close to experienced to keeping them. But they are just so cool. And I value them so much. And honestly, are like one of my favorite types of ants. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe because my normal videos, while not being this good, uh, I am going to be making some more videos. I'm doing a bunch of my older videos, think all the popular ones are edited, of course, but they're bad. So now I'm going to be editing them and trying to make them better and reposting them. You know what I mean? So you're going to want to stick around. Why I Hate Ants Canada will be probably the next one. And then I will probably do the... I forget which other one I have that's edited. But I know I have another one. And uh, I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a like. I already told you to do that. But do it again with a second channel. I don't really know. Um, Ant Love Forever. And I'm so glad to be back to ant keeping. Hope you all have a great day, night, wherever you are. Hope you all have a great just day in general. Love you all. Remember to keep that ant love forever. Peace out.